is Twitter on the brink of collapse? No, is the answer. Uh, Twitter is not on the brink of collapse. Yes, I'm talking about Twitter and Elon Musk again this week. I also want to talk about some really great features and functionality that have been unveiled by LinkedIn recently, a platform that I really love and don't talk about enough on these so far. So first of all, Twitter. Lots of people freaking out, ironically, on Twitter about Twitter um, and its uh, allegedly imminent demise. It seems fine to me so far. Um, there were some outages for like a day. Uh, it's, you know, they weren't significant. Um, it did crash for some people. It's now back. It seems okay. Some of the outgoing staff who are understandably disgruntled at the, the new ownership projected some somewhat humorous um, insults about Elon Musk onto the side of their HQ uh, in San Francisco. That's about it. Uh, the platform is still up and running, and more importantly than any of that, um, from a platform survivability perspective, is that the active users continue to grow. They've set a new record this week, which Elon Musk has, has tweeted about this morning. Um, so the numbers are all going in the right direction in terms of users. Um, I do think that advertisers over time will return, probably quietly at first, but if the users are there, and the CPMs are attractive, which they will be, because there's more users and fewer advertisers, as I've discussed in the past, then they'll come back. Um, there are also some other updates in discussion. So something I've been praying that they would do for a long time is different levels of verification. So different color ticks for different things. Um, so this might be organizations versus individuals. It might be paid versus verified, um, but these different types of authentication are in the offing. Uh, they are also looking at competing with YouTube on video. So video uh, in terms of you know, video distribution, but also creator monetization. So Elon has said on Twitter that he plans to undercut YouTube or overcut YouTube, I suppose, on creator monetization. So pay creators more than YouTube currently does for their content. They also want to as I've mentioned before, go after payments. So have a WeChat style app where you can do payments within the app. They also are looking at improving the search functionality. So go to Twitter over Google for your search. There are lots of things going on here. So long as it doesn't die, it will grow. And I don't think it's going to die anytime soon. Um, obviously the money might run out, but you know, I, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Um, and in my view, it won't. And I believe Twitter has actually quite a bright future. So don't believe the hype. Um, I think there's a lot of people freaking out, but Twitter has a, has a bright future as a platform. I think it's very frothy at the moment, but in the long run, it will grow. Um, anyway, that's my view on Twitter. I'd love to hear what you think. On LinkedIn, there are a suite of new tools and formats that have been uh, launched recently in the last week. So I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'll link to a great drum article that kind of summarizes um, most of them. But a couple that I wanted to pull out. One, click to chat ads. Um, I think this is a really great idea. So it's very simply an ad format where you can immediately start a conversation with the brand that's advertising. I think this is a really great idea, particularly for B2B. Often when I'm targeted with marketing platforms um, and tools, I do have questions. I see that something that looks quite interesting, but I'm not sure exactly what it is they're doing. What does the algorithm have built in? What data sources are you pulling in? How does this, you know, how can this impact on my bottom line? So I think it's a really good idea. Uh, you often do need a lot more information in the B2B sales cycle, which often takes a lot longer and has things like procurement processes and all the rest of it. So having a quick, easy chat function, I think is a great idea. I'll be interested to see how it pans out. Um, another one that they're talking about is revenue attribution reporting. I'll be interested to see how they how they do this. Um, I haven't actually seen it in action yet, but obviously LinkedIn Campaign Manager does already have some functionality around revenue attribution. So I'll be interested to see what they have added on here. And then finally, there's a option to promote personal posts of people within your organization as a brand. So lots of businesses um, have thought leaders in them, uh, people that are posting and getting lots of followers and engagement on LinkedIn themselves as individuals. Often it's the sales guys and girls who are out there talking to customers every day, who are posting great content that gets good engagement. 
now the brand that they work for will be able to promote those posts. This is great because people tend to engage with people much more than they do with brands. So as a brand, if you've got a human being who's out there making content and posting it out into the world, you can then promote that content to far more people. And you can pick and choose the ones that are getting really high engagement among your thought leaders within the business. So I think it's a great idea and I'm really interested to get started and get using it. All of this kind of contributes to what I kind of believe is quite an air of optimism around LinkedIn. I think it's a great platform. I think it has a hell of a lot going for it. So it's got great differentiation from the rest of the market as a B2B social platform. Um, it's got a di you know, different vibe than any of the other ones. Um, people are much nicer to each other on LinkedIn, which is great. Um, but then also they're going to be very difficult to catch because everybody's already got their CV and their employment history on there. So it's not like an upstart could just come in and start stealing LinkedIn's lunch particularly easily. So I think uh, LinkedIn is definitely a platform for the future. We're getting great results with LinkedIn, both with organic and paid. Um, so yeah, I think uh, very optimistic about the future of LinkedIn as a platform. That's what I think. Like I say, I'll put links in the comments below um, to, the, to the LinkedIn features and some of the stuff on Twitter. I'd love to hear what you think. Do get in touch, uh, drop me a comment, and I will see you next week.